Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the Oxygen Gutenberg integration. Gutenberg is a new WordPress editor that was introduced to Core and allows you to build your posts and pages using blocks. If we click this plus sign here, we've got paragraph, image, heading, gallery, and a bunch of other blocks that can be used to build out the content of our page or post. It's really a very user-friendly way to edit content in WordPress. And with Oxygen's Gutenberg integration, it's also a very user-friendly way for you or your clients to edit content only in designs that you've created in Oxygen. So you don't have to give clients full access to Oxygen anymore in order for them to make content changes. Now, before we get started, I want to note that the Oxygen Gutenberg integration is actually a separate plugin. So if you're going to follow along, make sure that you have the Oxygen Gutenberg plugin installed and activated. Now, there are a few ways to create a Gutenberg block in Oxygen. One of the ways is found under Oxygen Block Library. Block Library appears in this menu when you've set up your site to be a design set, which is done by default when you install the Oxygen Gutenberg plugin. In the Block Library, you can add new blocks, which behave a lot like reusable parts. They're self-contained. Typically, you want them to contain one section, and then they'll show up in the Gutenberg block menu. We'll go over that here in a minute. Let's go into this page, and I'll show you a couple other ways to create Gutenberg blocks in Oxygen. All right, now that we're editing our page, we're going to go ahead and pretend we're building a site for a client. So let's click Add. Let's go to Library, Design Sets, and we're going to use Atomic. So let's go to Sections and Elements, and let's say we already have a header and footer, and we just need some content for this particular page. So let's add a call to action, and let's add an icon block. And let's add one more thing. What else do we have here? Uh, some more icon boxes. So let's say this is the design that we want that our client will be happy with. And we want them to be able to make changes to these text elements uh, and the content of this page without having to go into Oxygen. Well, the simplest way to do this is to save, go back to the admin, Scroll down to the Oxygen Meta box and click Make This Full Page Editable in Gutenberg. And then click Update. Now once the page has refreshed, you'll see your Oxygen design right inside Gutenberg. Fantastic. Now to make changes, we simply click the element we want to change. Let's say we want to change this to expensive license. I don't know what they're selling, but maybe it's expensive. Uh, this is just nonsense, but let's change it anyways. Great. And we want to change the text on this button. Click it. We want to change the text in this link. Perfect. And so on and so forth. Now, some elements are edited a little differently. For instance, we can change the background image of sections in Gutenberg by going over to the block sidebar on the right hand side, which shows up when you've clicked an oxygen block in Gutenberg. And you see background image URL. Now, to tell which section this is the background image URL field of, you simply hover over the field and you'll see a blue outline there. You also can click the field and the element that the field belongs to will animate briefly. So if we want to set this background image, we can click set background image and select to an uploaded file or select something from the media library. Let's go ahead and throw something up here real quick. Perfect. So now we have a background image on this section. And we also can go down here and change these icons. So icons are also changed in the sidebar. So over here, you'll see um, some icon fields. So if we hover over these, you'll see which one we're going to be changing. Let's change this one to a different shopping cart. Let's change this one to something different entirely. 
uh, heart perfect and let's change this one to a cog or gear here the final thing that you'll be changing in the sidebar is URLs of buttons or text links so learn more has a URL that it's pointed to and we can change that directly in the sidebar over here by clicking change URL which brings up the WordPress URL selection box you can select a page or type in a URL let's close that out let's update this and then we'll take a look on the front end to see what it all looks like as you can see here we have our crazy background image all the text changes that we made our icon changes are here so that simply we took an oxygen design and completely changed the content only in Gutenberg now we've taken a look at how to turn an entire page into a Gutenberg block but what if you're working on a design and want only parts of the page to become Gutenberg blocks so that you or a client can assemble the page in pieces in Gutenberg later well we can take a look at that now let's go ahead we'll continue working with this page so let's edit it in oxygen and when you're in oxygen and you're working with any sections or divs you can simply select them go to the structure pane and in the structure pane hover over the elements name the div or sections name and click the hamburger menu and click copy to block and we'll call this free license block great so then that creates a block in the actual oxygen block library which you can then insert in Gutenberg. So let's go look at what that looks like. So we'll go back to admin and say we want to insert that block. We're going to click, click the plus icon and go down to oxygen blocks and free license block. We're going to insert that, puts it right there at the bottom. And it works the same way as if this were an entire page block. We can click and edit and change URLs and all that stuff. Now it's also important to note that your full page block that we just created also shows up in the add block menu under oxygen full page blocks. So you can easily insert that page uh, on other posts or pages and then edit the content there. Now that we've created a block that's been sent to the block library, let's look at the block library. So go to oxygen block library. As I mentioned before, this operates a lot like the reusable parts section in Oxygen, where when you're creating a block, you're really creating one piece of a full design. So typically it's a good idea for one block to contain one section or container and then some elements and then that's it. So if we look at our free license block, we can go in here and we can edit it just like we would a reusable part. And we can make all the changes we want here. And the design changes that we made will be reflected anywhere this block has been used. But if the content's been edited on any of the posts or pages where this block has been used, then the content changes will remain in place. So in this way, it's easy to go ahead and update pieces of the design that you can't access in Gutenberg while not disrupting changes that have already been made. Now there are some elements that are not supported in Gutenberg like dynamic data elements or repeaters. So they'll show up as a placeholder box with a label saying this element's not supported or a label describing what it is. Now if you want to change the label of those unsupported elements in Gutenberg so that you or your client know what is going to be populated in that area on the front end, you can simply select the element, go to structure, click the hamburger menu on the element and rename it. The name that you set here, for instance, page title, if this was going to be a dynamic page title, will actually be shown in Gutenberg. Now, again, the elements will work fine on the front end. They'll just be replaced with a placeholder in the back end. So that's an overview of how to use Oxygen's Gutenberg integration. This is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and thank you very much for watching.